Hello, it's me again, Sarah, that divination witch. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I'm here with a witchy video. Let's get into it. Okay, as I always ask, please like and subscribe and let me know what you thought. And if there's anything you want me to cover, hit me up. Please check out my link tree below. You can find my Discord, my Etsy, other socials. Thank you as well to everyone who follows me, supports me. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks. <laughs> I want to touch upon a subject uh, that is coming up again on TikTok. I've already done a video about it. Check it out above if I remember to put it. I can't remember exactly what I said in that video, to be honest. But this is my current opinion and my current view on pop culture deities. This is probably a pretty niche topic <laughs> uh, but stick around if you're interested what's a deity if you don't know if you are not a pagan like me or a polytheist uh, a deity is a god <laughs> and that's the likes of lady hecate who i work with and when we say work with it's because it's not just a worship thing it's an everyday life working together to grow thing anyways <laughs> because i've had that question asked before it could be you know what people may think are not real the greek pantheon like you know the olympian zeus egyptian uh celtic norse you know you, you know thor and <laughs> loki all these names pagan gods gods sorry for any noise outside gods of polytheist religions you know it, it could even be religions that are around today that didn't die out like shintoism hinduism although that's a nuanced topic a deity is that look it up <laughs> pop culture deities are where people have taken characters from pop culture and deified them. For example, top of my head, Wonder Woman. <laughs> Just because I recently watched the Wonder Woman uh, 1984 movie. Anyways, Wonder Woman. She is a fictional character created by DC Comics. I don't actually know the person who created her, but oh, I actually really love this character. She is a made up Amazon princess. All right, she is inspired by the Greek myths, but she was never part of the Greek myths. She is a modern character. You could take Wonder Woman and say that she is a goddess, you know, and, and start worshipping her and working with her energy. You could take Dumbledore from Harry Potter. Dumbledore. Start worshipping him, working with his energy. It could be any character from anything. It could be a made-up character even because there is an argument that these deities we worship even now, even even in Christianity and Islam, I don't want to offend anybody, you know, each to their own. I say this with the utmost respect. But how do we know that any of these gods, any of these energies we now work with were ever real? As in real living flesh and blood beings how do we know we don't i don't care what anyone says we don't know that even me who believes in them we don't know if they ever existed and i believe they do exist but in a spiritual sense uh yeah there might have been stories about reincarnations as, i mean look at uh, it's just because i'm researching it but look at christianity and uh about fallen angels and the Nephilim and all this uh, and then e even Hellenic mythology Heracles he was a demigod Zeus I mean he did have his way with lots of mortal women we have tales throughout different mythologies of demigods and things like this but were they ever real sorry to say but was Jesus ever a real guy? People say that he was. People say they found evidence of that. But is there any concrete evidence of any of these beings ever existing in the physical sense? No. There isn't. At this moment in time, there isn't. There is hints and, hints and suggestions. I mean, recently uh, it was circulating online about 
the tomb of Osiris <laughs> being unearthed but what they found was a tomb you didn't find a physical mummy you didn't find a green guy in the ground <laughs> you know like how do we know that wasn't just a place dedicated to him now these beings I personally do believe they are spiritual entities they are real in that sense flesh and blood not in the so obvious sense I have had people saying to me prove prove that your God exists you know like nasty comments well what do you hope to achieve with that because I can't prove any of this I can't prove anything I believe in is real other than my belief and what I have personally experienced but you watching this could say I'm making this up so for all I know I'm not making it up the things I've experienced and gone through <laughs> you know you don't know that I, I can't say right here's the scientific evidence here's these photographs that aren't edited and this record and that and whatever there's just no way of doing that pop culture deities are taking characters and deifying them and the argument is that these deities we worship and believe in now how do we know that back in the day it wasn't just them doing the same thing you know and them i mean the ancient peoples taking characters from mythology from stories they've made up and starting to worship them and how do we know that wasn't true for go far back as time itself i still firmly believe that pop culture deities are what we call egregores egregores are thought forms they are energy in physical well spiritual form i was going to say physical form but that's the whole argument none of it's physical but say I took Wonder Woman going back to her and started to worship her and drew upon her characteristics her strength so Wonder Woman she is a badass Amazon warrior uh, she is I would say justice you know when I think of her I think of justice she fights for people she's a protector she's strong she's a leader if I petitioned a god you know a, a god that exists right now I might go to Zeus for that because he is a leader of the gods he is a protector he is a warrior at times uh, or I may go to Ares his son Ares god of war warrior leader ruler protector if I wanted that sort of energy fighting for people fighting for your rights <laughs> power <laughs> you know so you know why wouldn't I in this sense go to Wonder Woman instead or Diana that's what she's called isn't it the character uh, I could do that and it's all about the energy we draw upon from these different beings these deities these entities so the argument is a pop culture deity if some one believes in it so much then they start to embody that energy in the human mind and the human spirit is so powerful that we can manipulate energy and create a living being per se living as in spiritual as in a spirit and if more people start to believe in that like what happened back in the day in ancient times so tales of Zeus spread around more people start to believe in it feeds it gives it more power and that is an argument that some people still argue to this day what deities are and how they're born and that's why there's not just one God even now even if you are Christian Muslim Jewish whatever you're still arguing different beliefs if you get what I mean uh, although lots of people believe in the said being <laughs> it's not the same one per se uh, so that is the argument now I want to touch upon and I'll do a separate video about this uh, like more in depth but no, I've never seen anyone speak about this in the spiritual community but all these deities whether it is pagan gods like what I worship or angels you've got angels of different things or if you're the other side demons you know they all have certain energies so you've got like Zeus king of the gods sky god you've got Aries the war god you've got a love goddess in Aphrodite you've got a harvest goddess you've got a motherhood goddess you've got a home god, and so on and so on and so on 
they are archetypes and <laughs> nobody seems to speak about how in psychology especially when it comes to mental health and the human mind and personalities humans we always want to put labels on things in general and that's that is a stereotype that has been broken today <laughs> and it's still hard to do so because you know like look at i can't really speak mega on this myself even though i'm part of lgbt myself but i am a female but look at uh you've got female male uh they them pronouns now becoming more common it's labels still <laughs> that humans have created that's what i'm trying to get at that's a bit of a different argument but you've got labels for everything sexuality sex or gender uh for even your relationships everything's a label you're my friend you're my best friend and you're my wife you're my husband you you your race you know it, it's touchy subjects here i'm getting into but everything's got a label you know even to hierarchy as in yes you've got in my country literally still a royal family and hierarchy but workplace hierarchy okay yeah more responsibility can come with the hierarchy but still there's labels on what job you do doesn't matter even if you work in a shop you're a shop assistant you're a manager you know it doesn't matter what job or what walk of life you come from humans put labels on things and so to help us understand people's different personalities we have labeled them as well and if you look into it uh i think i'm a i i am sorry my house driver is making a noise i think i'm an intp last time i checked it but you know those personality types that is an archetype that is I, th I believe when i looked into mine it was someone who's creative and thinks outside the box sort of things and it gave some celebrities as a uh, suggestion of who you're similar to we're putting ourselves in little boxes to understand ourselves to understand the world around us so if we're looking at this from a psychology point of view and we are drawing upon energies believing in things faith religions we are drawing upon that for ourselves we're putting labels on the gods on on things we don't understand we put labels on and who knows who knows who or what these deities are i have my theories uh, i don't fully believe that the deities <laughs> were just created by human mind but i do believe there is some sort of energy out there that will morph into whatever you need per se and becomes an entity a deity and that deity becomes that figure personified per se for humans to work with to have help from uh, so you've got for example zeus leader of the gods he is inspired by a certain culture a certain way of living a certain time period you've also got odin again certain culture certain time period you've got ra you've got yahweh even <laughs> certain culture certain time periods these beings morph into what we understand as humans and what we need is an individual and that's what i ultimately think deities are so my argument is with pop culture deities there are some people that make it sound ridiculous and i think they're doing it for clout there was one girl saying oh i think they're a girl i'm not sure what saying that they worship hatsune miku which if you don't know who that is it's an anime type figure for a music software program and they've released songs she's a, like a, the mascot of vocaloid it's called this music thing okay <laughs> yeah i mean worship whatever you really want to at the end of the day uh because i do believe whatever our faith is whatever our religion is or isn't even if we're an atheist in psychology we could draw upon somebody we find inspiring to get you know 
energy from that per se to to stand up and have courage and strength so i might say wonder woman but i might also say real life person uh, i'm trying to think of someone strong uh i don't know <laughs> i've just sort of joan of arc for some reason i know she's a christian figure but yeah could could be her or uh i can't think of anyone why why does this happen <laughs> probably because i don't really like our leaders at the moment i don't know he had his own problems but say Winston Churchill all right <laughs> I could draw upon his stubbornness and his loyalty and the way he led his people and rallied them together and whatever and you know to have that strength the Churchill strength I don't know why I thought of that but I hope my point is getting across here because I, I don't have a script I'm just rambling so my opinion on pop culture day is I can't remember exactly what was said but I believe it's changed a little bit like all right yes I think it's a tiny bit ridiculous <laughs> but the only bit I think is ridiculous is the people who are doing it for clout I've talked about people making up their own characters as well <laughs> like that lady morning star thing and that Greek goddess that was totally made up if we go about it in a respectful way and not a stupidity sort of way, uh, like cloud chaser sort of way, then fair enough, you do you. I personally don't think I'll be making up anyone anytime soon. Uh, but I mean, there's some characters I draw strength from and I'm not going to start worshipping them. But in a psychology kind of way i mean i've got one tattooed on me pam from true blood she's like this badass uh bitchy kind of vampire <laughs> well she's a vampire but she's a bit bitchy and sometimes you know you need to be a bit bitchy <laughs> to be like deflect off hate i suppose uh so sometimes i i can channel that <laughs> you know it doesn't mean i'm worshipping her doesn't mean i believe she's a goddess because she isn't she's a made-up character by charlene harris uh and the actress kristen boer portrays her in the tv show and she's not real <laughs> and yeah but you know someone else might take that and be like yeah i want to worship her cool you do you as long as you're safe there is danger in worshipping something blindly and that can come with any god any any belief worshipping something blindly that's why you have tricks to gods and gods that are not so nice because not everyone likes us you know not everyone likes humans <laughs> uh as long as you're safe and you do your research then you do you but that's my updated opinion on pop culture deities let me know what you think do you worship any you know it's fine to me you do you just be safe and don't just go in blindly you know for example i like bellatrix of harry potter as well she is psycho crazy killer i mean i'm not going to start worshiping the psycho crazy killer am i and give something some energy like that some power in my life like to F it up <laughs> I don't think so <laughs> so be careful out there until next time stay safe and stay witchy